holding this thing right there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, dude, from Bessemer, Alabama. That's why you hate it, isn't it? That's a $1,200 rattlesnake. <laughs> we have to buy it now, right? <laughs> Break it, you buy it. All right, how are you guys doing? I'm here with my boy Lojo, this big, giant, handsome gentleman that's right behind me. We're actually at our breaking, I guess you call it breaking facility here in Texas. We have some guys upstairs who are breaking right now, and Topps Chrome just came out. If you guys did not know, I absolutely love this whole sports car thing, and I'm telling you, you guys oh, yeah. can get $25 to spend for free right now on the Fanatics Live app, which is linked at the very top of the description. We're about to go upstairs and do a quick little box battle. These things cost, I think, about $600 a piece, mm -hmm. these boxes. Yes. So the thing is, this box battle is whoever has the best cards within the box keeps all of them. That's right. And I plan on winning. So, I mean, you can make a cool, pretty quick cashola real quick. I mean, last night, I didn't do very well. The night before, I made like a grand. Yeah, you can it, make some it's, money. It's up and down, but I bought one box. Rob's got the other. We're about to find out uh, who wins both of these boxes. I, I was, was going to say, if you're a degenerate, you're going to love this. You need to be here. You're, you're going to love this. Come yeah, on. so if you guys love cards, sports cards, if it's if it's baseball, football, basketball, I don't care, click the link at the very top of the description. You'll get $25 to spend for the free when you guys download the app. Because now we're going to bust open this door, which is like a small little closet. Bust it open. There they are. There they are. You guys ready to... Hey, what up? What there you go. Up? Jeez, we no, box battling? That one's mine, yeah. We're box mine. battling, baby. We're doing it. Yeah. All right. So what are we doing? Are we doing best card? How are y'all doing? No, just best box. Best yeah, box. best box. Yeah, best box, not best card. And let, let the chat vote. Let, yeah, let the chat vote. Chat's going to vote, all right? So yeah. you guys are going to be the judge on this box battle, okay? Turkey, you ready? Yeah, I'm send watching, it. Yeah. I'm watching that box closely. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see anything huge come out now. Nothing huge. Here we go, here we go. All X, Kristen Yelich. All right, Chaotic said he's ready. Oh. Tony said he's ready to judge. He's the that's, sheriff. That's not a hot start for me. Luis oh, Santos on the rookie from there the Giants. Go. Not a bad one. Okay. Good not auto. One. Nice that's auto. Hey, it's, a, it's a rookie auto. Good and good. and he swings a bat. Good ink to the ball. He <laughs> swings a bat. Blide Alvarez, Mookie Bat summertime in the park. We got another auto here. Come on. What team are Be we gentle. Working? White Sox. There we go. Oh, there that's we go. gentle. Be gentle. Shortstop. Okay, so we switch. Ramillard. It. Zach Ramillard, rookie shortstop. It's a shortstop. Quick Steve update. Guys. Oh, yeah. I got absolutely <laughs> throttled. <laughs> Like that wasn't even. Well, to be fair, you got shorted because those boxes are supposed to have three I, I said, autos. That's actually crazy. And you like, only got two. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna promote this stuff, and then the box <laughs> that I show would only have two. <gasps> what the? Ah. So there you go. That's how you lose on my end. I just lost 600 bucks, and he just won. Oh, <sighs> so man, hey, that's part of the fun though. Those box yeah. battles are by far one of my favorite ways, except when you lose. Except when you lose. I beat him last good. week, so me and him yeah. box battle all the time with each other. It's kind of goofy. I'm telling you guys, if you guys are a degenerate and you love sports, <laughs> this is. One way to scratch that itch. It's a great combination of Very, the two. It's kind of scary. Some guns. Oh, he's asking me questions. <laughs> okay, so I've got a couple gats here in the back, and I'm gonna tell you guys, they're ones that I'm not really fond of, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've got one of them actually from a pawn shop. It's one of my least favorite rifles I've ever purchased in my entire life. I know a lot of you guys may not live in Texas, but it's not really strange for me to be standing by the highway holding up a rifle. I don't think I'll really have too many issues with that. Jesus. Wow, what was that going on there? Here, this thing good. right here, take this, take this okay. cat. Oh, here we go. There is. What's the strat here? What kind of dummy gun is this? I'm just gonna enjoy this session. Or am I just the dummy? I'm just enjoying every second of what's going on in this life. I'm just gonna stop trying. Why? <laughs> just gonna stand here looking cool. Look, I was just trying to clear, clear a gun. <laughs> okay. okay, that's all. That's all yeah, I'm yeah, trying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that I think is one of the dumbest guns I've ever purchased. Or rifles, excuse me. Hey, dude, from Bessemer, Alabama. That's why you hate it, isn't it? No, no, you no, just hate not, things from Alabama. Not that. It's <laughs> pop. So look at this. So these come out. Oh my! Yeah, okay. Look now, at that. I just wait. Now, can oh. you tell me why that's one of the worst designs ever on any rifle oh, you've ever seen? Oh my gosh. Well, they just collapse when you hit them like that, first of all. So, so if I like ran and like yeah, went down, yeah. my barrel would just go right into the <laughs> dirt. So Jesus. like when you were overseas, how many times did you run, stop, and jump head first into a wall or something? That, Quite know? a few times, yeah. <laughs> Don't want that happening. Imagine you're shooting, trying to lean in to get like a good position. <laughs> it is <laughs> it rifle fall forward. Yeah, yeah, that was a pretty terrible design. Yeah, that is not what you Idea want. Idea was Cool. The idea is solid. Execution it's, from Alabama? Actually, not from Alabama, but it's pretty terrible. No, yeah, that, that ain't it right there. That ain't it. I do have another one, though. What the? Now, here's the other one we're going to take in. This one's a little on the heavier side. Oh. Not a terrible rifle. Um, she is it's heavy. a 308, but I don't 
it's more of a hunting rifle. Like it's made for maybe like going into a box blind or something like that. My wife right. actually killed a deer with it last year. Right, it's really like short. 308. Yeah, Damn, it's pretty heavy, pretty us. stout. Now I don't really know entirely how much they're gonna give me for that. I really like the stock on this one. Oh yeah. It's clean. Now if you want to give me 10 grand for it, I'll sell it to you right now at the oh, hot deal. Is that it? It's really good. I love how you're pointing the rifle into the Well, there was nobody coming <laughs> when I did it. And then I saw people coming, I was like, oh okay, let me stop. <laughs> it's Texas, I get it, but I mean it's geez, Texas. Louise. It's okay. Alabama boys coming to Texas causing issues. <laughs> Oh, look at all the rattlesnake mounts they have here. Yeah. That's a $1,200 rattlesnake. I just didn't think a rattlesnake mount would count, cost $1,200. You could barely even say it. I know, it was blowing my mind right now. <laughs> oh microphone. man, I already see something goofy. Look at that little thing. Oh my goodness. Does it have like a little, yeah, is that a, a muzzle part. guard or is that an actual I don't little know. suppressor? I like camera in there. Oh my God, now they got a silver version of the gold gun. <laughs> this should be your next trial here. Oh, <laughs> SOCOM 16 and the bullpup. Why in the world? <laughs> why? Why not? Why in the world did you need that? But then again, it's like a it's like a why not type deal. Oh man. <laughs> Uzi Pro. Oh, that's an Uzi. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's cool. And a nine mil. Is that a tiny oh, little it, can a, on there on the front? <laughs> it's okay. Front. Yeah, I was about to say it can't do much. I mean, you just push right here, and that's it's the stuff. Dude, that is actually pretty normal. Do you have any Uzis right now? I don't. No, I don't have any Uzis. Right now. No. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. How many opportunities are we gonna have to have an Uzi? Boy, in the that's world, that's a hog boys. leg right there. You guys are coming out with all the crazy shit. I like this. <laughs> My God. At the heat. Dude, that is wild. So you start one of that hand. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing over there? Are you I'm struggling? Finger this thing. Oh, that one's got a red dot? <laughs> hey, look at that shit, Lojo. Oh, the Uzi's got a red dot? Yeah, a laser on it. Okay, where's she at? How goofy does a big guy look holding this thing? Right <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's release. perfect timing. Yeah, no, don't worry. It's just a bag release. <laughs> big Uzi guy right here. Oh, okay. that was perfect. I mean, they were the best. I think we have to buy it now, right? <laughs> Break it, you buy it. Oh, you hit the bag really perfectly. Yeah. Well, it's just such a small gun, and to try to get my hands on it, I just feel a little cramped. Look at that son of a gun. Just listen to that. Whoa. Dude, that is nutty. Gosh. Bigfoot, here you are. Oh, bastard. Well, Crazy all, I, stuff. all I know is that uh, bringing you from Alabama <laughs> here is like one of the greatest things I've ever done in my life. I've already broken an Uzi, and then... Okay, well, I don't know if you can go from silver to gold, though, right? <laughs> I mean, is that like a downgrade, or is that... Uh... <laughs> well, you know, I wasn't <laughs> the biggest fan of the gold one. <laughs> Although the, the aesthetic value, you know, you have to appreciate the aesthetic value. You guys don't have anything from World War II in here, right? Gosh. Uh, yeah. You have stuff from World War II? You know, in the back, we got an old sour and sun. So, so far, I'm liking, like, I think the Uzi's pretty cool. The Uzi's really I think the cool. Uzi's actually a pretty good choice, but I also, a 500 Magnum. You guys already know I'm pretty addicted to anything World War II related. It still has the, go on the seal, has a marking on the back there. It has no safety whatsoever. Really? There's no safety, no. Wow. Now look, it kind of looks like the thing's almost hand jammed on there, but it's not. This is the original before Sig Sauer. Sour and sour. That's what Sig Sour was before it was yeah, Sig Sour. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is really cool. I think we're going to have to scoop that thing up. Yeah, I'm a big World War II guy as well as you, so I, I have to agree with you on that. Well, I don't know if you're interested in a shrunken ballistic head, my friend, but uh, if you're looking for something to shoot this thing at, we have a little uh, discounted. How much you want uh, for the ballistic head? So we do 30 bucks on it. It's discounted because he shrunk just, a, you know, half the size. <laughs> it's supposed to be a normal bucks? head. I'll take, I'll buy All it right. for 30 bucks. I mean, give us something to shoot yeah, at with, yeah, the, with yeah. the, the guns, man. Okay. An actual ballistic target. Yeah, a shrunken one. Did you just jack it up or something or what? Well, so someone put it on layaway and uh, it was full size. We scored it and then uh, we come get it out. It's half the size. Of the that is freaking sure, hilarious. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead and do it. I mean, that. we got to, right? Yeah, we have to do that. <laughs> we have to do it. It's That's a good question. You think, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, I probably would stop that one. Maybe you should test that. Yeah, theory. I would say what kind of round. Did someone, bring, the, did someone bring this into you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh, no, not right now, man. Yeah, next time. Next how much time. Is a, sure. How many pounds is 100 ounces? <laughs> Look at this thing. How much is 100 Troy ounces? 6.8, 6 and a half pounds? This wow. thing is ridiculously big. Yeah. It's so weird that this metal is just like worth money. 
You know what I mean? Just this big old stupid brick of metal is like worth a ton of money. It's just weird to me. Why don't you get a cone over here? Uh oh. Said something cool. Yeah, something oh, cool. Oh boy. Uh, not firearm related. No, nothing that'd be firearm related. I was okay. wondering if you had anything interesting. We like gold stuff. Well, I already like. Oh what my you got God! In there. Sports cards? Yeah. You're into no sports cards? No way! Yeah, so someone brought these in way before the Allen theft. Okay, <laughs> to get that clear. <laughs> oh, I did not know you like sports cards. So I sent these off to get graded. You know? Yeah. There's a baby. Why the? I did. I didn't end up getting this, but I can't bring it back till next Wednesday because I guess they just bought it and there's a hold period just in case it was stolen. You want yes, the head? Sir. I'm gonna take the head. <laughs> okay, I'll take the Uzi. I never turned down head. I appreciate you, know you buddy. See you, man. Right, you, you have a good day. Just walking right out here. with an Uzi. You walk out with an Uzi. You walk in with two rifles, you walk out with an Uzi and a ballistic head. <laughs> and a head in a box. And a head in a box. Not a How random is that? <laughs> That's really random. When he walked out, he walked out with a head and then he walked out with a box full of cars, sports cars. Which Super is like two random, random things in the road. Like, why did you, pawn shops. I like that guy, his name is Justin, right? No, this, this place That's, is awesome. This is a really good yeah, place. Yeah, what is it, Texas Dollar Pond? Yeah, Texas Dollar Pond this in Wiley, Texas. Awesome. These guys are like awesome, look at this. I'm gonna He's gotta shout out good business when you guys see one. But this pawn shop right here, Texas Dollar Pond in Wiley, Texas. Awesome. We got a doozy, which we do have a We should show back up to the. Uh, we should show back up to our shop and be like, "All right, guys, I went card hunting, and I came back with a doozy." I think that'll be a good way to strike some fear into their heart too. You know, kind of yeah. get them working a little bit harder. Perfect. That's exactly what you want to do with employees. Strike right. fear into their hearts. Right, guys. <laughs> sell some car. Sell some cards now. Still, Hold the on. best part of any YouTube oh, video filmed over the last ten years was Lojo picking up a doozy. <laughs> Yeah, picking up the Uzi in the magazine, <laughs> dumping out onto the ground in the middle of the <laughs> immediate mag dump, just, just right I said, away. What in the world is this guy doing? Dude? Uh, I haven't held too many Uzis. Okay, that's just that's my bad. I'll be I'll be more prepared next time. Yeah, I know the holes are kind of wild. It's actually a good thing this happened. I know it sounds crazy to say this right now, but we want it to happen now. You know, like the settling of this dirt because they would have actually went through here and put all the, the plants and everything here and then it caved in like two or three months later, we have to redo it all. So I'm actually kind of happy this happened. This is gonna be your first time seeing oh. the, the appliances, isn't it? Oh my gosh. This is gonna be everybody's last time seeing this house up until it's done. Oh my gosh, it looks so different. Oh my gosh. Look at this monster. Holy cow. This yeah. is huge. Yeah, I pulled it open the other day. It's pretty cold. It's oh not God. super deep, but it is really wide. It's beautiful. It is oh beautiful. my God. Oh my gosh. Look There's at that a ice maker. Fridge. Yeah, we don't have an ice maker <laughs> right now. That's actually really nice. Oh my gosh, that's huge. <laughs> I really like the way these turned out. I think you did a, ooh, I think you did a great job with this. Thank you. Oh my gosh, look. I know, I see that. Are you a fan of that or what? Yes, I love it. I picked this out. Look, and I took out a warmer and the little oven instead of the double oven. Oh yeah. my gosh. Is that right, baby girl? Oh, interesting, okay. What else we got? Let's look. Oh my gosh, I can't get over that. This is gonna be the last time you're gonna be seeing this until we come back. It should be done, hopefully, by the time we come back. This is the last time they're gonna see this house on this channel, though. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to buy a lot of this cleaning stuff. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I feel like I expected the pool to be like more. That's why whenever you asked me for a photo the other day, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll well, send you, know, you a photo, you know but why? it's. why? Because I, I saw the little blue thing, and I, it just, and like at the little edge of the photo, and so I thought that they had started with the tile work, but I guess not. You like it? I had to actually come through here the other day with another gentleman, it was like three days ago, because there's minor things that happen when you're building out a home that you don't fully think of, which I personally thought that this right here, you guys see that? I thought that was a, an outlet for like power. That's not, that's like the coax or ethernet cable for cat six cable. Now we gotta get power put in there because I have no power for a TV. Also in the last house I built, I forgot to even put any type of cat six cable in it. So I didn't have any type of internet in that house. When I moved in, I thought that was like a thing they did automatically, same thing here. So we had to go through every single portion outside and like put where we're gonna have cat six cable here to be pushing internet with, with what are they? Some type of Wi-Fi booster that's gonna be actually giving us internet out here. Are you back in here? Yeah, do you see our mini fridge? Oh wow. No, I haven't seen this yet. Wow, that actually looks really good. My wife wanted a coffee bar in the bathroom. I thought it was, it, it's kind of cool because it was just extra space and I think it's actually a pretty cool little add-on. It wasn't super expensive and it was just gonna be a wasted cabinetry, which it's not now. Put your beer in there. Yeah, put your beer in there, ain't that right, baby girl? Your little shower beer. Oh, she likes this little thing, huh? Yeah, it looks Oh, the shower beer, that's a great idea. 
Oh, I'm not kidding. That's a great idea. Yeah, why do you think I got the fridge? I, I don't know. That's a great idea. I can keep my shower beers in there so I can then hit the shower. This is great. And these things have amazing power, by the way. I'm just gonna throw this thing out there. I mean, that will tear your skin right off. This is one of the coolest features as well. You can set it. Look, set your temperature, and then you just turn it off and it's there every time. God bless, that's awesome. Why doesn't every home have that? This is what they need to put in every home from now on. And this is the last time we're gonna do any kind of walkthrough with you guys over here on this channel. I just, I don't know. I've been showing you guys bits and pieces as we've gone through. Wow, look at the bar, it looks really good too. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look, no, look at your laundry room's <gasps> done. The laundry room's done. Oh, you're looking at the bar? My oh, we got a maker. real ice maker. Yeah. Wow, I got a real ice maker for the bar this time. And a mini fridge. And another mini fridge. That's oh, awesome. This is freaking So they actually cool. built the cabinet so we can stick an actual full size like Woodford's or Basil Hayden bottle, like a full one up there. So this is really cool. This is really nice. This is a good little add on. This is a good selling feature when we go to sell the house. And you turn around and we do have a, is this the, is this what you were looking for? Yeah, no, they, they, they kind of f***ed up. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, cause I was here the other day and I was really confused because I don't know how I'm supposed to get into. No, they up they built the cabinets too low they're supposed to fit there's all this all this space is supposed to be gone it's supposed to be flush with that wall yeah that makes a little bit sense also if you guys build a home you're gonna have issues like this this is seems like a fairly decently sized one did that scare you Zobby? okay wow you like it huh i think i like my choice of where i've had it put what do you think hey carrie how are you doing is that your washer dryer <laughs> yeah i was like oh god i don't know if that's that doesn't yeah, seem. We'll move them up. <laughs> okay. So there's no trash can, by the way, in here because I have one in the house that I just moved out of and I did not like it. They're super it's, small. It's small and yeah. just to be honest with you guys, it was like $700 for a trash can. And I was like, you know, I think that is not gonna happen. I could buy a $20 one from Home Depot and throw it right there. You know, I actually have a pretty interesting story to tell you guys about this grill right here. That's the one that's gonna be going outside. I went and purchased that grill and it didn't fit in my truck at the time. So you really like this thing, don't you? Yeah. Ooh. So it didn't fit in my truck. All right, so I left it there. This is down place down here and just, it's in Northern Texas. It didn't fit in my truck. Somebody came in later on the next day and stated, which it kind of sounds a little bit like an inside job. Just gonna throw this out there. Stated that Robert Turkla, they said, I'm here to pick up the grill for who? Robert Turkla. I'm like the only Robert Turkla in the world, by the way. And I never made a video about me picking up and buying a grill. So I know that wasn't the case. Had to be an inside job. Anyway, they got me on the phone and guess what? They gave the grill to some random person. But that place, after a couple hours, decided, you know what? It's probably best we just give this guy a grill and we're gonna do an internal investigation to see who stole this sucker. The only person that knew who left the grill there was the guy that sold it to me and the manager. Someone walked away with like, a, I think they're like $2,400 grill. Ooh, what this the? looks good. Back oh, here. you like it from this side? Oh yeah, it looks good. Yeah. So the original thing, they wanted it to actually go all the way across and I did not like that at all. So we have concrete coming off this right here and it goes, to my door, which is gonna be here, and then it tees off and goes to the mother-in-law suite, and then tees off and goes that way as well. You a fan of that? Yeah, I think it would have closed this area up a lot if they would have gone all the way. Thing is, is here in Texas, where we live, we have to, since we have a pool, we have to fence off the pool. Like it has to be fenced off so no one can just come back in here. So I have a pretty good game plan in my mind, at least. Yeah, we got some trenches through here. Shouldn't be wet at all. So this is the mother-in-law suite that we haven't really shown you guys very much of. Oh my gosh. What's that? They oh yeah, they got, doorbell. they have a, hold on a sec. Do I even have a doorbell? Oh, I do have a doorbell. Okay. I was about to say, what in the world? No, I do have one. Oh, this is the most beautiful house I've ever walked. Perfect. Oh, well, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, thanks for hanging out with me. This is gonna be your last time seeing this house probably on this channel. Maybe I'll do something when it's done, but I've got some stuff in the works. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me during this entire adventure. And, and I know I haven't showed you guys that one. That's a that's another like a little investment thing. I tried to build a little bit of a compound here. So when people came over, we had somewhere to stay with the pool and, and everything like that. You know, as we get older, things change. So I do love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me over here on Lunker TV. I'll catch you guys here on another episode very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>